So good evening, good evening, good evening. We are back again. We are going to talk about this football club again and why it is moving at a snail pace. Moving in silence. <laughs> Meanwhile, all the other clubs are moving real loud. Uh, but that don't matter, does it? Because we're just going to laugh at all the other clubs regardless. Uh, we're going to come to that in a minute. Uh, but before we do, uh, make sure you do smash the likes up on the video. Big up to everybody who's been doing that. The last video, I think, hit over 2K. So that's the target for this one. Let's see if we can get over 2K um, on this video. Yeah, 2,100 as it stands right now. Uh, so let's see if we can hit 2,000 likes on this. Uh, big up to everybody who's been sharing the content around. Always appreciate all the new subs as well. Big up to you. And everybody who was dropping the donations in via the thanks option as well. Always reply to every one of them. And the largest one gets pinned as well. So there you go. Uh, hit the thanks option down there if you want to do that. But um, the Tour of America, um, which is just basically um, a money-making exercise. <laughs> um, oh, but we want to interact with the fans overseas. No, you don't. You're going there for money. Uh, you're going there to play Everton and Chelsea. Like, really? How far, how far is the Emirates Stadium to Stamford Bridge? About, what, five miles, six miles, something like that? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we're all going to fly out to America uh, to meet the fans, um, really. Okay, you're going out there because you know that it's a massive country and you know that there's a, a massive market to be um, to, to be locked down to support in this football club. Uh, Mikel Arteta has got everyone giddy today because he's sat in the pilot's or the co-pilot's chair. Oh, he can fly aircrafts now. Is there anything my manager can't do? The the obsession, the fascination with this guy, man. Seriously, I swear to God, this fan base online are literally so living in hope that this guy is going to get it right because they care more about him than they do about the football club. I mean, let's be real. Most of them have never seen us win a league title. So they've grown up on us winning next to nothing uh, for FA Cup since we've been in the Emirates Stadium. So uh, to them, uh, it's excuse FC. Um, doesn't matter if we don't win anything because all the other clubs um, have more money. Oh, we can't compete with that. Oh, referees, conspiracies, all that jargon, all that rubbish. Uh, but yeah, they are on their way to, um, to America. And um, Gary Jacob, I think he's a journalist. Um, I'm going to scroll through this. Uh, where is it? Where is it? So I'm going to scroll through because somebody actually put the lineup on there. Um, the squad that has flown out there. <laughs> Some of these pictures are funny. Um, why can't I find it? Uh, why can't I find it? I think it was on this one. Big up to Nathan as well. I know he subscribes and watches the channel. Big up to you, my friend. Uh, that is the uh, squad that has flown to America for the US tour. Uh, Aaron Ramsdale, Bern Leno, um, Matt Turner, Arthur on Konku, Alex Runnison. Yes, believe it or not. Cheers, guys. He is still on the books. Mm. Cheers. Uh, defenders, Kieran Tierney, Nuno Tavares, Gabriel, Pablo Marie. Um, everyone was hating on him the other day. Don't know why. Everyone was loving him when he first came to come. The left-sided centre-back we've been desperate for. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Rob Holdim. Uh, William Salibur has actually made it. Wow. Amazing. Uh, Hector Bayerim, probably have the captain's armband on for the first game on Sunday. Um, doesn't want to be here, but that's how we roll. Cedric Suarez and uh, Tommy Asu. Waters is on the plane. Top Gooners are literally ecstatic. Um, they've been following him since he was um, floating around his old man's you-know-what. Um, do you know what I mean? They, they know everything about the kid. Literally everything about the kid. Um, Mohamed El Nini has made it. So has Lucas Torreira. Uh, Thomas Party is circled uh, by this um, person uh, because he has made it. And Gary Jacob put out there that Rob Holden, Thomas Party, and Bernd Leno weren't going on the tour. Get in the bin with Chris Wheatley, mate. Uh, Emil Smith Rowe, Sambi Laconga, Granite Xhaka, Gibraltar guard, Ainsley Maitland Niles. Yes, he still plays for the club. Uh, Fabio Vieira, he's probably, um, I don't know, he's been wheeled into, woo, maybe they got righty to wheel him in. <laughs> Man's got the protective boot on, maybe they wheeled him in. Woohoo, we're wheeling out Fabio with his protective boot. Uh, Reese Nelson, uh, the next Raheem Sterling, um, the pet project of Mikel Arteta. At forwards, Gabriel Martinelli, uh, Eddie and Ketty Nah, 
Uh, Gabriel Jesus, the greatest striker the Premier League has ever seen, according to our fans. Uh, Nicola Pepe, uh, the scapegoat for the football team. Everything that happens that's bad at this club, blame Nicola Pepe, people, because it's it's all on him. It's his fault. It's his fault. Uh, Bakayo Saka, star boy. Uh, Florian, Florian Balogun, uh, he has made it. He will be going on loan. Fabrizio has put that out there today that he will be going on loan after this tour. So for me, it makes no sense why he's on that tour. But... It is what it is. Um, have a holiday, mate. Yeah, big up to him. I hope he smashes it wherever he's going on loan. Uh, and Marquinhos, uh, he is there as well. Obviously, um, another fan favourite after seeing him for about three seconds. Uh, all of a sudden, he's now absolutely top class. He is the next Ronaldinho. And he is the next um, Rivaldo. Mixed into one with a little drop, a little, a little spice of Romario. That's how good he is. Don't blame me. I'm just I'm just putting it out there. Uh, but anyway, uh, anyway, that is who is going on the American tour. But where are the new signings? Because um, we've got a few in that squad, but they're not good enough to play football for Arsenal yet. Marquinhos, uh, Fabio Vieira, uh, they're in there. But why? Why? Why have we not got proper signings? Listen, big up to them. Not dissing them. They may become good footballers. I want signings for now. What is Edu doing? Like real talk. What is Edu actually doing? Because apart from signing Gabriel Jesus, um, we've signed nobody <laughs> that's going to improve this squad. Like, real talk. I've seen something today that somebody sent me as well. Um, let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can type it on here. Tillemans. Because our fan base are weirdos. Real talk. There it is. There it is. So somebody, yeah, Listen to this. This is mad. I thought tracking planes and matching up pictures of trees was bad. But now our fans have zoomed in on a fridge in a virtual house tour on an estate agent's website to confirm if Tillemans is selling his house. He has children with them names. So it looks like he is. Wow. This fan base are weird. Like real talk. They are actually tapped. Yeah, there you go. It's mad. It's actually mad. It's mad. I, I'm baffed. I'm actually baffed at how weird this fan base are. Real talk. They they have literally got nothing else better to do apart from sitting there tracking planes. I remember when we signed Gabriel. Uh, they were, oh, he must be in England because it's not raining in France. And there was a little tiny bit of a back garden where it was a little bit damp. Yeah, maybe that was because they were in the back garden getting all moist and all that. I, I don't know. Maybe they're still stuck to their bed sheets. I, I couldn't tell you. Uh, one thing I can tell you, they are the biggest weirdos on social media, Arsenal fans. Um, but whilst Edu's doing absolutely nothing apart from coining in an absolute fortune and um, pretending that it's a great window, oh, we move in silence. I'm going to tell Fabrizio we're moving in silence. We've got a mystery player we're linked to. Turn it in. Yeah, turn it in. Uh, Koulibaly is signed for Chelsea. Yep, signed for Chelsea. Full agreement in place. 40 million euros, by the way. Uh, fees and add-ons completed. Bid accepted. Napoli are checking the documents. Then it will be official. Long-term deal for 10 million net salary per season. First centre-back signed. Um, but top gooners will have you, uh, have you fooled into thinking that this guy is too old. The Premier League will be too quick for him. And he's not any good. Not any good. Don't matter. He's no good. He's the same age as Virgil van Dijk, by the way. Um, and I rate this guy. I've been banging on about this guy for years. I think on Christmas Day, two or three years ago, I actually dropped a video about him. What do I know? My ball knowledge is in the gutter. Cheers, guys. Mm. Yeah, but don't worry. Ben White's got eight years on him. Yeah, that's all I keep hearing. Ben White's got eight years on him. That is the first of three centre-backs they're going to sign, by the way. Uh, let's look at some of the others they're linked to. Um, because whilst um, whilst Edu is doing absolutely nothing, yeah, Chelsea are moving loud. They're moving very loud. Uh, he's landed in London already an hour ago, uh, set for a medical, and then he'll fly to LA to join the team. Um, and then Chelsea will unveil Caladou as a new sign-in. Napoli and Chelsea are checking and signing the contracts right now. Um Levi Colwell is now likely to leave on a permanent deal this summer from Chelsea. Uh, but there we go. Um, obviously, uh, it then continues on and says, Chelsea 
and Le Levi Cole will, will make a decision soon. As Koulibaly deal is done, Kimpembe and Aki in talks. Okay. Chelsea are working to sign both Nathan Aki and Presnel Kimpembe after Kalidou Koulibaly. Negotiations in progress for both with Manchester City and PSG. Um, Koulibaly will sign soon. Kimpembe and Aki are two calls priorities as De Ligt is close to joining Bayern. So they're about to sign Nathan Aki. And people are saying, oh, he's no good. He's no good. Oh, 50 million. <laughs> You've been robbed. <laughs> well, he's better than Ben White, isn't he? Yeah, he's also better than Pablo Marie, isn't he? Because you lot don't like Pablo Marie. I, I, I don't know. I'm just putting that out there from what I read. Online fans do not rate Pablo Marie. Uh, remember, Daddy Arteta signed him. Um, but he's better than Pablo Marie. He's better than Rob Holding. Uh, he's better than Ben White. Um, so he's going to Chelsea for the same price as Ben White. Uh, but what do we know? Uh, they're also going to sign uh, Kimpembe, um, who, again, is better than the players I've just mentioned. And they've already got Koulibaly, and they've already got Thiago Silva. Hmm. They've also signed Raheem Sterling. And for me, anyone who's watched this channel a long time knows that I don't particularly rate Raheem Sterling. I don't think he's that great at all. I think he's very, very frustrating to watch. Uh, very greedy on the ball. Uh, but... He will add goals to that football team, as I said in the video I did last night. He will score goals because they will create a lot of chances, Chelsea. But him playing on the wing rather than being a striker where they had the, the donkey up front who's gone back to Italy, um, they they don't play with a, an out-and-out -out striker, Chelsea. They're more get down the wing, similar, similar to Liverpool, but they ain't got the front three to be on that Liverpool level yet. But... They are talking to Serge Gnabry. They've got Raheem Sterling in the bag. He's been unveiled already. I think I think Fabrizio actually put it out there that he's, um, he's already been done. Uh, there he is. Official confirmed. Raheem Sterling joins from Manchester City on a permanent deal until 2027 with an option for a further season. First signing in the Todd Bowley um, era as new owner. Uh, there he is. He looks well happy, doesn't he? <laughs> he looks ecstatic that he signed for Chelsea, by the way. Uh, but all jokes aside... Um, he will score goals for Chelsea. So they're now talking to Serge Gnabry and Arsenal fans, like I said yesterday, a lot of them online are saying, oh, he's, he's Arsenal through and through. Listen, money talks and BS walks. And if Chelsea wants Serge Gnabry, he's going to Chelsea. He wants to leave Bayern. So unless he's playing a game to get a new contract, which I don't think he is, I think he's going to end up at Chelsea. Maybe Man City. I don't know, but he's going to one of them. Because Barcelona can't afford him. They've just done 70 million on Rafinha, which leads me on nicely because Arsenal fans are laughing at Chelsea again. Why? Oh, well, you lost out on Rafinha. Huh? Let's laugh at the, the most successful club in the country for the last 15 years that I think won two trophies last season. Mm. And they finished above us again. Cool. And they went deep into the latter stages of the Champions League. Interesting. We can't even qualify for that competition. But let's all laugh at them. Let's just laugh at them. And they're buying Aki. <laughs> Aki's washed up. He's rubbish. 50 mil. <laughs> Koulibaly, uh, he's 31. Uh, you're paying Raheem Sterling 300 grand a week. Uh, do you remember all you lot were also sitting there saying as soon as Abramovich is gone, they're finished? That went well, didn't it? Yeah, because I say you saying now. They're far from finished. The only club that's finished right now out of the top six teams is Arsenal. Because Manchester United are doing business as well. Manchester United executives, representatives, whatever you want to call it, have actually flown to Amsterdam. Uh, they've gone. They've flown to Amsterdam. They're going to go and sign Lissandro Martinez. Oh, we'll come back to this guy in a minute, by the way. <laughs> Smash the likes up, people. Um, there's Rafinha. He's happy. He's buzzing. Um, Lewandowski looks like he's about to sign for Barca. Lucas Torres' agent says he's reached a deal with Valencia. Wow, good luck. Well done. Uh, but here, exclusive. Manchester United executives in Amsterdam to meet with Ajax. Um, so trying to sell Lissandro Martinez' deal. Personal terms agreed with the Argentinian centre-back. Manchester United had 50 million euro bid. Add-ons included, rejected last week, but Ajax are now open to sell. Cool. So Arsenal ain't getting him either. So why are Arsenal fans sitting there laughing? What are you laughing at? What are you laughing at? 
Tottenham have already got a better front line than us. They've already got a better defence than us. They've already got a better manager than us. They already finished above us last season. But yeah, let's let's laugh at everyone else. Chelsea, better defence, better attack, better manager, finished above us. City and Liverpool, we already know. Manchester United, you can laugh at Manchester United as long as you want. I've seen people out there sitting there telling people, oh yeah, now done, we're finishing above Chelsea. Yeah, now done, as it stands, we're finishing above Chelsea, according to top gooners and super fans. We're finishing above Chelsea and Man United. Mm, okay, interesting. So why do we do this every year as a fan base? There's a lot of fans that are doing this, gassing it up, hyping it up. Oh, our transfer business has been great. Really? Really? Because man, you were about to sign Lissandro Martinez and Frankie de Jong. Cool. Cool. Mm. Yeah. Meanwhile, we're going with a double pivot if Thomas Party gets injured of Granit Xhaka and Mohamed El Nenny. With our main two strikers being Gabriel Jesus, great player, I like him, and Eddie and Ketia. I bet their other teams are quaking in their boots. I bet Chelsea is sitting there like, wow, no, nah, we can't com- Bro, we can't compete with that. I bet Liverpool and City are shaking in their boots. Mm. I bet Harry Kane and Son and Perisic and um, Kulazewski. Uh, I mean, they, and Richarlison. I mean, they they must be sitting there. Going, Eddie what? Eddie who? Nah, mate. Not happening. Doesn't matter, though, does it? Doesn't matter, though, because we've got Mikel Arteta. He knows exactly what we need. Uh, but let's talk about this before we wrap up, people. Uh, this... Guy, I called this guy out years ago. Uh, the prick in the nick um, is probably sitting there crying um, for more than one reason. Mm. Cheers, guys. Uh, but, but, Istanbul, Besak Shehir, butchered it. Apologies to the Turkish followers. Uh, sorry, and we just call him Istanbul B. Uh, have signed Mesut Ozil on a free move as his short-term Fenerbahce contract was terminated. Why do you have another contract terminated? I thought his mate was the owner of the football club. Why would they terminate it? Oh, maybe, just maybe, because everything I said about this guy when he was at this football club, he was doing again at that football club. Maybe, just maybe, this guy don't care about football. Maybe he wants to go into the eSports scene. Bro, let me tell you something now. You can build up your eSports career. Yeah, you ain't any good at football anymore mate just give it up you're living off of the back of your name that's it you're literally living off of the back of your name you were nicking a living yeah he is nicking a living they were right about him yeah Neil Ashton was spot on he's nicking a living he called him out years ago years ago this guy has been nicking a living for a long 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 time yeah and I think two terminations at two different football clubs now I think, yeah, I think it's time to give up the give up the game, mate. Yeah, I think it's time to just retire. You you've got enough money, just go and live happily ever after in that, innit? Uh, but there we go. It is what it is. Uh, but what do I know? Negative, toxic. Um, uh, but Edu, 23 days till we play. Um, it'll probably be just about kicking off the second half now in 23 days. And we've signed Gabriel Jesus. Meanwhile, while we're working in silence, uh, all the other clubs are moving loud and signing decent footballers that are putting them even further clear of us. But don't worry, don't worry. We've got Super Mick Arteta. He knows exactly what we need. Tinny at the back. Eddie in attack. We're on our way to Conference League next season. Adios amigos, Arteta Fuera. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Drop your donations down there if you want to do that. I'm out of here. Adios.